Hey, I got something top secret to tell you about, so don't stop watching. Hello ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58. I am Faith and as you saw, I do have a secret, but first I want to shout out to Wig Types for sponsoring this video. And this particular video is on the Outre Wig Mariella. She is a melted hairline wig. And if you guys saw my video on how to choose an Outre wig, you know that the melted hairline usually has um, some plucking in the front and it has a lace part. Um, but it's not like the perfect hairline that lets you part it anyway. This one I believe is a left side part. She is 18 inches. She has HD lace and I have her in the color DR Java Frost. Now I am doing this video as a collab with the Hearts and Cake 90. I'm sure you guys are familiar with Brittany. She's been on YouTube for nine years now, this year as a matter of fact. She does clothing hauls, she does makeup, she does hair, she does all kinds of things. Um, and she also has an Amazon storefront, so whenever she's featuring some products, you can go right there and buy those, so you wanna check that out. I will link her video down in my description section. Let me tell you about my secret and the reason why I have one. Here is Mariella. She's thick, but her fibers are softer than what um, some other wigs are. Her fibers are softer. Um, it's kind of a yakky soft. It's not like a silky soft in my opinion. And um, she's got some hairs down here that are kind of hanging down and we're going to address that later on. But what I wanted to tell you about specifically um, is inside. So of course she has, you know, your typical cap construction. She has a comb on each side. She has adjustable straps. She also has an elastic band. But one thing that she has that I've noticed about this wig is that she has some black knots. And yeah, you should be able to see them pretty well um, as soon as this thing focuses. Yeah, she has some black knots. And I don't really like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my secret weapon to get rid of them. And that secret weapon is Bye Bye Lace Grid. And this Bye Bye Lace Grid, it says it's for lace wig grids and knots eraser. So we're gonna see if this erases the knots. So I'm going to put this in the part, but I'm also gonna put it in the front because along the front is where I'm really more concerned about those knots. So I'm going to put this on. I'm going to show you some video of me doing it and then we'll talk about it on the other side. All right, ladies, so I'm going to turn this wig inside out. What I'm planning to do is I'm planning to put it along the part and I'm going to put a piece across the front as well. So I have not used um, this kind of knot healer before. I usually use the kind that's just like, you know, a concealer but I wanted to try this because I didn't want these knots and so I want to see what's going to happen. So I'm going to speed this up and then I can talk to you sooner, okay? This piece on this side that was under the strap, I may end up taking that off, but I just want to see what it looks like now. Okay, so what do you guys think? Here's what it looks like now. I think it's a big improvement. As a matter of fact, I'll take um, a screenshot of this and the one before so I can put it side by side so you can see that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna plop her on my head. And another thing about this wig, I, I really think she's too full and too long for me, but you know, she's okay on this side, but on this side, she's, uh, this tape 
kind of makes the lace kind of funny since I've got it so close to the edge of the lace the lace might um, kind of rise up a little bit I could probably just glue her down a little bit on one side I guess but anyway before I do all that let me move this out of the way and show you what she looks like this is her straight out the pack have not done anything to her yet lots of curls <laughs> yeah lots of curls let me turn around so you can see the back yeah, there she is. Lots of curls. Lots of hair. She's definitely big hair, don't care. I, don't know, so. I think I might try something. <laughs> and I'm not really supposed to be introducing products in this video, but this other product, um, one of my um, subscribers told me about this. She, um, she's in beauty pageants, and she says that they use this to keep like their clothes in place when they're doing their walk up and down the aisle or whatever it's called it stays body adhesive so this is a body adhesive so it's supposed to keep your clothes in one place and look at this it has a roll on top like deodorant and I'm thinking wow this is kind of interesting so she says it comes off with water and I actually did go to their website to make sure that you know it was on the up and up you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna try this and see how it sticks. So I think I'll just try some of it just on this side first. So I, I'm assuming this is how you do it. I'm just gonna roll it on like roll on. Oh, here it comes, okay, here it comes. I can feel it now. Okay, so it looks kinda shiny. I'm just gonna put this wig down on it. I mean, it's sticking, and I think it's sticking enough that it's, it's sufficient for what I'm trying to do. <laughs> She's sticking. She's sticking. I mean, I didn't put it way up here, but she's sticking. Well, you know, not that great, but you know, maybe, maybe you do have to put heat on it. I don't know. Maybe I'll just spray some cold air on it. I'll use my um, dryer and just put some cold air on it and see what happens. Yeah, mm -mm. yeah no, I don't think this is, uh, I don't think this is going to work for me because it's not really, you know, it's not really adhering let me just see what it says it says it sticks may be used by men women and children to hold any article in place against your skin it stays is pliable and moves with your body it stays washes off easily with water leaving no stain it says you can use it for socks knee socks support hose nylons pantyhose shoulder straps wigs and toupees so it says to simply use it, it says simply roll onto the skin and press the article in place. And that's what I did. I rolled it on and I'm pressing the article in place. Um, maybe they don't expect it to be pulled on and that might be the case, you know. But I mean, it's not going anywhere. It's just not, um, it's not like, you know, like a real, you know, glue down would be. But I mean, it'll be sufficient for this purpose. So um, I, I'll use it over here too. So I'm just going to do the roll on thing like I said do. Oh, it's sticky. It is just sticky. And I don't know how much you're supposed to use, but, you know, I'm just going to stick it down here. Like it says, dude, just stick it down. I don't think this is going to be great for wigs. They didn't say anything about heat or, you know, cold air. They just said hold it down. So I wonder how long you have to hold it down because it doesn't, it's not sticking. One thing I have to tell you about this wig, too, is that it's not, uh, it's lightweight. So if you live in a hot climate like I do, it might be okay. Yeah, I don't know whether it just takes a minute or whatever, but it just doesn't seem to be laying down to me. So I would not consider this an, a substitute for anything that you're currently using. So there's that. So we're gonna go back to tried and true here. And then get my blow dryer on the job. And this is not the kind of wig I don't think that really needs a complete glue down simply because um, it's uh, so full. What is going on with this thing? <laughs> now that's where it start, stops and starts when it wants to. You know, another thing I'm thinking too is that uh, with this grid stuff underneath here, I'm wondering if that would have anything to do with the effectiveness of laying this lace down because the grid stuff is underneath this lace. 
So I'm thinking that maybe people just use it for the part and don't use it in the front because I've got it all across the front and it's not laying anything down. And I'm thinking maybe that has something to do with it. Now that I think about it, you probably can't um, put this grid um, tamer thing on here and do this. Next thing we're gonna do with all of this hair is I'm going to start chopping it off. <laughs> yes, I am. Because I feel like it's just way too full. It is, for me, it's too long and it's too full. So I'm gonna go get me some scissors and a razor comb and we're gonna have some fun. So I'll be right back. Okay, I had to bring out the big guns. <laughs> These are my sewing scissors. And here's the razor comb. Okay, so to me, personally for me, it's just too thick. I'm not like most people. I just kinda cut the way I cut. And I'm not like gonna even think about how I do it. I'm just gonna chop it off. Cause honestly, I just, uh, I just need it to be shorter. For one thing, I just need to be shorter. So I'm just gonna chop it off. And it's probably gonna be uneven because <laughs> I'm not the best cutter in the world. But yeah, she's just too long for me. And uh, I mean, 18 inches, I think under normal circumstances would be fine. But the fact that she's so thick, I think makes it like harder for me to deal with. So let me just go over here. And you know, you guys tell me if you already have this wig, what do you think about her? Do you uh, like the length of her? Do you think she's cool, thick like she is? Do you think, you know, you cut her or did you already cut her? So yeah, I'm not, uh, like I said, I'm not the queen when it comes to cutting hair. I just do it <laughs> and it is what it is. Yeah, it's gonna be harder for me to do the back, but we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna give it a go anyway. So, yeah. Obviously, I won't be selling this one unless somebody just wants a short wig, a shorter wig. But yeah, I just, I personally can't deal with it. And again, I don't know what Brittany's doing. <laughs> I don't know whether she's cutting hers or whether she kept hers the way it was or because usually when we do these, even with me and Wheezy, when we do wig reviews, we don't tell each other what we're going to talk about. And the reason we don't do that is because we, don't, we want to be surprised. We want to be able to watch just like you guys <laughs> and see what the person's done or is going to do. That's, you know, that's just as much, that's just as much fun for us as it is for you guys. So, okay, yeah. so she's shorter. I'm liking her already. <laughs> I don't know how I did with the back. She, there may be still some pieces back here. Let me look in the mirror. Yeah, there's still some stragglers back there I'll have to get to. But we'll get to those later. Okay, next thing. I think she's way too full. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go underneath her. This is usually the way I do it. I don't know how the people do it. And I'm gonna start getting this out of here. Wow, this hair is kind of tangly. It doesn't even want to, doesn't want the razor comb to do anything to it. And you know what too, using this razor comb, it's almost kind of brushing it out. And I really don't want to brush it out because it's kind of, it's, it, um, I think it tends to get ratty looking when it's brushed out. But maybe because I pulled some of it up, it won't be that big a deal, so yeah. So, okay, so I'm gonna pull this back down so it's on top. It's still, you know, I didn't take a lot out because I really didn't want to make it look too um, flat. But I'm just going to put some of this up and maybe even some of this. And just, uh, yeah, because this way at least, if you, you know, cut it off, you're not, uh, you still have the curls on the top. So you can, ooh, this, <laughs> oh goodness, this must be the side I should be using. The knife is closer on this side than it is on that side. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be like vacuuming for days in this house. It's taking it out on this side. Oh goodness. Okay, all right, okay. So let me just put this down. Let me put the rest of this hair down. Okay. So technically speaking, it's still thick. But I think I'd have to kind of do some more work to it to make it exactly the way I want it. But it just, you know, thinning it out to me just really is necessary. I just think it's just too much hair, at least for me. It might, you know, you might like the Shaka Khan look, 
but I'm not feeling it, especially in the summertime. Okay, now that I'm done kind of butchering up this hair, let's just talk about it. I think that she's pretty. I don't think that she's a wig that I would wear regularly because of the thickness of her. Um, I would not brush her like you saw with this uh, comb with the wrong side of the comb. Um, it was starting to brush her out, comb her out. So if you're going to cut her, I would use the short side of this thing. And make sure you lift up some curls so that you don't uh, ruin the curls, you know, in general that you want to keep for underneath. Um, as far as putting heat on her, I don't know whether um, flattening her like that is, is really what, you know, you want to do. I mean, some people like to do that, and you know, we can we can do a little bit of it because you know, mine's at the ready. <laughs> I'm thinking too that maybe you could shorten some of these in the front a little bit and cut these off. And then the last thing I think with this wig is that it's probably not a bad idea to put some kind of serum or mousse or whatever in it. I'm going to put some mousse in this hair and you watch what happens when I put this mousse in this hair. All kinds of hair is going to come out because of that razor comb. So don't be shocked. So I'm just going to do it all over because this has a tendency to kind of settle the hair down a little bit, you know, so that it's not feeling like, you know, you're in the jungle <laughs> and like it's out of control. So the mousse has a tendency to kind of you know, bring everything together and kind of give it a little bit of control. We see how that's doing? Yeah. So I'm going to do that on this side too. Just, yeah, you know, just kind of pat it in. Pat it and scrunch it, I guess you could do. Just pat and scrunch and pat and scrunch. And it will help to um, keep the flyaways at bay as well as kind of give some structure to the hair. Yeah. I like this stuff, and I'll tell you what this is in the minutes. You've probably already seen this before. This is the the, the Ores Olive Oil um, Holden Spray Wrap Mousse. So you notice that I didn't use any baby hair. I actually cut the baby hair off when I cut the lace off. The only thing that I don't really like about this wig is that some of the edges are kind of scraggly. So that's kind of why this mousse is important. So I think, you know, once she's under control a little bit more, I think she's much nicer. Let me see what's going on with this thing. I'm going to spray a little bit of this um, got to be glued spray wax just on both sides and then I'm just going to kind of, you know, some people like these really, really flat. I think it just depends on the hair. I mean, you want it flat enough so that the part is like seen if you're having a problem with that. But other than that, I don't think you need a lot of it, especially with the curly wig. We're going to put some powder in the part. And yeah, uh, we have taken Mary Ella through some changes today. Boy, my part, my powder looks lighter now because I, I have this grid underneath here and I have to pat it down. Normally it doesn't look this light, but I think because of the lightness that this um, grid has given to this hair or this part rather, that's why it looks like that. Just kind of tone it down a little bit. Okay, so ladies, overall, what do you think? Do you think she's a winner? I think after I worked on her <laughs> that she is, but uh, before that, you know, wasn't really crazy about her because um, to me, again, she was too long. Um, she was, she's too thick, so I did take a little bit of thickness out of her. Not a lot, but I did take a little thickness out of her. Um, I would probably take more out if I wore her. The texture is fine with me. She's not, I wouldn't say she was big head friendly. I would say she was regular head friendly. So, and when I say regular head, I mean 22 inches, which is what I have. Um, so yeah, she's regular head friendly because even though I have hair, I pushed it up into a cap. I didn't braid it or anything. I just pushed it up into a cap in the back. She's not, she's snug, but she's not, she feels secure, put it that way. She doesn't feel like snug or tight. She feels secure. But yeah, once you put that mousse in her and you get her cut to the length you like, and you thin her out if that's what you want to do, get rid of those grids, you know, and, you know, put the mousse in her to get some control on her, I think she can be fine. This is Mariella by Outre. She's one of their newest melted hairline wigs, and she's 18 inches on HD. So she comes in a lot of the standard and specialty colors that Outre normally offers, as well as your basic colors. And here's um, a picture of the inside. 
So, okay, so ladies, if you are interested in Mariella, I will put the information down in the description section. Again, do not forget to go and watch the Hearts and Cake 90, Brittany, because she is going to be reviewing the same wig. Shout out to Wig Types for sending me this unit and sponsoring this video. And as you ladies know, I always say, if you're going to show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good, and of course, so are you. See you next time.